of seven strangers are going to decide who wins $1,000. Only one of them gets it, and apparently this immediately turns into the Oppression Olympics. Let's watch. Young Apollo with the Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. I want as many people to find this channel as possible so you know what to do. Now, I'm gonna admit, this video is old. I think it's like five years old, but you guys told me that this has a lot, a lot of commentary that is deeply said in this video once we get into the game of deciding who wins this $1,000. I can only imagine what's going to happen. The boohoo stories are gonna come out and probably in the modern day and age, it's gonna have a lot to do with race and gender and all this stuff. So let's watch and find out. Do you guys know why you're here? No. no. I can't because there was money involved. No, I'm sorry. I got the job, I give it out some money. I just want y'all to make the ones rain so I can dance. That's I don't know, you I can't want. put a price on attention. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> okay. Damn. She's gonna immediately get voted off. Seven of you here, you have to decide who leaves with $1,000. Oh. Okay, let me pause real quick. If I know this turns into the Oppression Olympics, who do I think wins the Oppression Olympics based on just looking at these people? Obviously, the whiteies gotta go, right? That's, uh, that's rule number one. You're white, you're gone. I know I said the girl with the red hair is probably gonna be gone first, but if we're playing by the rules of the hierarchy, the white male is gone first, so he's gone. The two white ladies, they're gone. We're dealing with the four people who are on the right side of this couch here, and who wins? I think technically, if we're, we're 2020, black people are gonna take over, <laughs> you know? So I'm assuming it's gonna be one of the black people. She's Muslim though, so she might get some extra points if she pulls the Islamophobia card. There's a lot of different things going on here. It's a woman too, cause he's a man. So he's gonna be lower on the tier list as well. I'm gonna guess the girl in the red flannel is the winner, okay? Final answer is locked in. <laughs> uh, that's it, that's it, that's the end of it? So you guys have to decide together who's the one person that- right. Guys, here's the thing. We could each leave with like $150. No. no. <laughs> How socialist of you. Here are the rules. We are gonna break it down by rounds. The first four, you have to decide which person gets voted off. Oh. Okay? And then for the final three people, you have to unanimously decide who's the one person who leaves with it. What the f oh. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys ready? Yes. yes. All right, in three, two, one. Round one is beginning. I'm already so invested and nothing has happened yet. <laughs> so what's everybody's sign? What does sign have to do with anything? Vote her off. She's off the island. I can't stand when people start talking about astrology and maybe I'm, I'm nitpicking, but she's out. I yeah. want to know personal Negative. stories. Negative. Uh, personal yes. stories. Yes. So I'm black in America, so she Sucks. Okay. That's why I deserve $1,000. Dude, that was record time. That was the Usain Bolt of pulling the race card. Dude, that's amazing. That was quick. We're only a, a minute and 30 seconds into this. An immigrant. So am Sorry. I. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. What if everyone who's not black leaves as a form of reparation? Holy <laughs> and then, and then, and then, the three of Hold us, on. Then the rest of the three of us get to decide yes. who takes $1,000. What if we oh. donate the money? Can I just say I called it? Can I just say I called it? So every single person of color was immediately like, I win the money, I'm black, I win the money, I'm an immigrant, we're immigrants too. And then you hear from two white people throughout this, really. One, the girl in the back says, we could all leave with $100, which, what a, what a just kind socialist thing to say. And then the guy in the back says, we could donate the money. Just compare those two sets of ideologies for me for just a second and you know interpret that as you will. I know who needs to go because you said to, to charity, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's number one. I think you gotta go. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was kidding. I okay, mean, were you? Yo, but you wouldn't have said donate to charities if you were really kidding, if you were really broke. Right? <laughs> Is this serious? The guy who said, let's donate the money to charity, presumably because maybe all of us don't need it because we're on a set in LA that we you know, all drove to in our cars from our apartments that we live in and we're here to talk about who gets $1,000. The guy who says, let's give it to charity gets voted off first. Clown world, clown world. Give me your 30 second pitch while you deserve $1,000. Cry a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Cry a little you bit. You are especially vocal. <laughs> what do you got? I spend every single day trying to save the world. I work on issues of climate change. I am a good person and I need new tires. So that you is came why here I for your tires. Deserve. Okay. <laughs> tires. I am tired of hearing this. <laughs> I spent my entire day moving today. I've spent over $3,200 in rent this month alone, um, plus moving. 
Do you hear the people in the background? I don't know if y'all heard that, but if you listen in, they're going, she's white, she's white. She's white. This video is insane. Costs bribing people to help me. Liar! No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I haven't been working since April, so it'll be my third surgery within a year since my, my, my initial accident. Like seriously, my bank account's literally like negative 300 right now. If you're going paycheck to paycheck, where are those paychecks coming from if you're not working? Hold up, hold up. Oh, dude, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm getting kind of grossed out watching this video. It's like the element of the racism being involved, the guy who says he wants to give it to charity being voted off, and then this becoming some sort of like video where we're just all like sharing our struggles to see who has it worse makes me feel kind of ill. It's like when I watch America's Got Talent and you see these people who are just great talents and they should be there just to like share their voice with the world and their music with the world. And then they're like, tell me about that time your mother died. Tell me about the time your house burned down. She's like, oh, chill. We don't need to have a struggle session right now. Let's just get to the heart of the issue. If you got hurt at work. Wearing your workers comp. Yeah. That's my paycheck to paycheck. But you only get how much of your income? You only get 60%. <sighs> Income exactly. Since April, it's now. How you getting workers comp for six, seven months? Like y'all asking too much questions, but that is the truth. I am 19 years old. I am a full-time student. Money would really freaking help. I just bailed out my parents 10 grand, and that was actually what I was supposed to use for my daughter's college fund. Sorry. I mean, if you give a man a thousand dollars, you feed him for a day, but you teach a man to make a thousand dollars, then you feed him for life. Oh. oh, I can't. I can't. I think this might be an experiment that brings out the worst in people. I think this actually. I think we found it. <laughs> It's not, it's not the Stanford prison experiment, guys. It's this, <laughs> it's this. At this point, I'm not working as well. So my bills are, my husband was able to pay them, but they're coming up again. And we may end up homeless. So how long have you, have you had a job? Since September. We're in October? Yeah, it's been like 30 <laughs> days. <laughs> but are you choosing to be unemployed because the jobs that are available don't pay you as much money as you want to make? Uh, no, I'm choosing to be unemployed because the jobs that I apply for, they tell me I'm not qualified for because I'm black. I don't see how anyone could say that. That's not legal. Because you're white. Yeah, it happens, it happens way too often. Oh. I'm gonna take things that did not happen for 2000, Alex. You would have a lawsuit on your hands immediately if you have actual proof that somebody told you you're not right for this job because you're you're black. Go ahead and take that to court. You'll be like a millionaire in two seconds. When you have this mindset of like victimhood mentality, then yeah, every job that you don't get, you didn't get it because you were black. Every person that looks at you the wrong way is looking at you the wrong way because you're black. Every single person who doesn't like you, it's because of, you know, this marginalized group card that you hold. Not buying it. My brother's getting married in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> this is already a no. <laughs> you want the thousand dollars to go to Michigan? So I can be at the wedding. Like my child, uh, I'm not gonna be able to buy trip <laughs> gifts. Like that would have been I, way better. I want to be there for my brother and for his fiance and. FaceTime in. <laughs> Hold on. Mom, you could FaceTime him. Yeah. Yeah. I can't with Okay. That's How are you not kind of like ashamed that this video is on the internet of you like being this way? None of your reasons for wanting the money are really more valid than the other. And everybody's just trying to like bring out their greatest sob story, which I guess is how you win this game. Wanting to see your brother your blood get married in a, like probably the most important day of his life. Probably something that, yeah, you would spend the money on if you won the prize. That's all I have to say. You should have don't be mean, mean to her, right? Well, don't you, be you, mean. You can do anybody else up there. <laughs> Why did you just say me? Yo, all jokes on me. Yo, jokes on me like some hyena. My only case that I can make is is that you know I, I work hard. I would use the money to you know fix my car because it's had I've had a busted windshield and a busted bumper for a while. But it's still operable, right? Yeah, for sure. So totally. you're, 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 I was gonna say nobody's bullying him because they booed me when I said I'm tires. I was okay. about to say you can catch the light rail. <laughs> I'm about to. Uh, my eyes are twitching watching this. I can't do it. Oh my gosh. This is like your worst nightmare when you're like in middle school. Like this is the group of kids that like you don't walk past their, their lunch table because you just know it's hell on earth. Ugh. Uh, how will you decide who goes off? We should write something What's down, put point? it in a pot, and then maybe one of somebody else can read it. Like I'll read it. I'm her. <laughs> her name is my name. <laughs> your name is my name. It's your name too. <laughs> Joe. Oh. Sorry, Joe, you gotta go. Sorry, Joe. Bye, Joe. Well done, Joe. I didn't Joe. have a wedding to go to or a car with like tires. Oh, no, it was no, nice no, no. Are we at all surprised that the first one voted off the island is the white male? No. I, I hate bad. this. I feel kind We're of closer to the thousand dollars. Are you guys ready for the second round? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We've started. Oh, do you think? Abby, you should go next. <laughs> <laughs> Using the money for a plane ticket, and I feel like you can save for that. And if you really wanted to go, you could take the bus, 
You can take the Greyhound. Amtrak. You could Amtrak. You could drive. You could drive, yes. At this juncture, I'm so sorry, Abby, but I have to agree. I got to pay for plane tickets, too. Me, too. And I just, I, I just, just, I, I just had to pay for one, too, and I could barely... Yeah, okay, I just pay don't. my rent. Yeah. yeah. We're about four minutes in, guys. My priority is finding housing. Yours is getting some tires. I have I need to pay for my house too. You need to buy a house. I need to pay for my house. From a corner to you, everything is all set. That I would like to pay for before <laughs> I die. I know I'm going next, so I just want to say something. Why do you think that he was? You're going next. Because she could be going. Because everybody stood up and said, Abby, I think you should go next. Well, yeah, because her logic is intact. I, right now, at this juncture in this video. I'm hoping that they get to the end after having beaten up, bullied each other, and that there's just no money to be had. And that they were just trying to figure out how low you would go in order to gain $1,000. I wish that's what happened here. I have a feeling that's not, and somebody's actually gonna walk away with money. So far, who do I think deserves the money out of this group? It would have been either the guy who just got voted off, the girl right now who's trying to justify, you know, the fact that they're going to vote her off, or the young girl sitting in the middle here because she's been quite quiet and seemingly trying to be nice. They are the ones who seem like they have the character to leave with some profit after this. That's a third. Now you gotta go. You don't <laughs> yeah, go. you don't believe in yourself. Wait, so here's what I think is interesting though. I've heard that I'm white, so I can't understand issues or I, I never said that. I never said that. I've heard white come out of white also. people's names. Run it back. Run it back of that girl right there whispering she's white. And she might not have said it about her, but she did say it. I think it's interesting that race coming from me towards any one of you would be ghastly and inappropriate, but race coming towards any one of you towards me is appropriate and... Please don't put me in that, because I never said anything about race. And I, I do did. not... I, and I would say that it's appropriate because you have the privilege to be a white person in America. I'm Hispanic. You should have spoke up when somebody called you white the first time. Well, somebody misguessed your race, or somebody misguessed your gender, you're going to speak up about it, correct? Well, no, because I felt attacked in that situation, and I was hearing you say you don't know. Why are you crying? Girl, you next. I started to feel bad for everyone. I'm at this point where I want to stick around in the match so I can be actively in the discussion, but I'm like starting to hear everyone's input, and I'm like, shoot, like maybe I don't deserve this, you know? I'm like. Were you forfeiting? No, I'm not forfeiting! At least she seems like she has her feelings intact. I'm like, my goodness, this is getting this is a doggy dog world out there. And it's so crazy how ready they were to attack her. And then as soon as she says, oh, I'm Hispanic. Oh, you should have spoken up about that because now you're part of an accepted group within, you know, the larger clan that we have. And uh, if you had just said that you were Hispanic, then we would have never made fun of you for being white. Oh, everyone who thinks I should go home, please raise your hand. Okay, that's done. Now, everyone, <laughs> <laughs> anyone who thinks that Abby should go home, raise your hand. Anybody thinks that Isla should go home, please raise your hand. Oh. oh. I didn't see that. You I said you didn't deserve it, girl. <laughs> you gotta be in full of yourself at all times. Do okay. <laughs> you have an exit speech? I really hope they're telling the truth. Girl, you should never say I don't deserve Deuce. something. Deuce. So first we have the guy who says I'd give the money to charity. He gets voted off, presumably because he's white and male and that's what they've decided. Then you have the girl who says, you know, I feel bad for the people who are in like this situation right now and I don't know, like I actually am contending with the idea that maybe I don't deserve the thousand dollars today. Gone, <laughs> get her out of here, crazy. <laughs> Honestly, this is why I'm are you Pretty still sure crying? I'm glad I left. Jesus. <laughs> this girl's like a 19 year old single mom, if I remember correctly. And they're like, this girl's still crying. And oh my gosh, she feels empathy for other people. How dare she? She literally said, like, I don't know if I deserve this. Oh. Like, that's what she said. Like, that's how she said it. And I'm like, Ew, wait a minute. So mean. Honestly, I'm at that point where I'm starting to think whoever does get the money does not deserve it. It's crazy as Abby was on the chopping block. She was like, I know I'm next. Oh, you do? Okay, then you're next. But then you got up there and you just- And you started crying. <laughs> and you were like, I don't even know if I deserve this. Okay, well, never mind, Abby. You next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had one thing that none of us do as a child. And I it's was, a child. Was you could have played that baby car. My baby ain't got no diapers. Something happened to these people. Something. And I don't know if I'm getting like psychic powers right now of viewing them within their teenage years where somebody, it seems, bullied them and very, very hard. No! Nerd. That's what I'm getting from these people. That's the energy I'm receiving because something has stunted 
their mental growth. Because what I'm looking at right now might look like a group of grown individuals, but up here, there are teenagers and teenagers where somebody traumatized them and was mean to them and now they feel the need to do that to everybody else. And now they are the center of their entire world because oof, hurt people hurt people is the expression. And if anything, these are hurt people. <laughs> she should have used what she had to get what she needed. It's a player's club line. Uh, Ronnie Ho quote, you live by it, you get everything you, you want in life. what you got to get what you want. Say it again, Shakira. Use what you got to get what you want. Let's break down what they're really saying there, right? They're pointing out what it is their their ideology is, right? I'm black, that is my crutch that I carry around with me. And what you should have done is used your crutch, which is your child. So play that up to the highest extent possible. And that's how you get what you want out of life, which is exactly what these people do. When they went, you know, I I'm black, you know, I'm Muslim, I'm this, I'm whatever. It's them taking something that they know they can fall back on as an excuse for why they're in the position that they're in. And they are going to use that at the highest rate possible. Y they've exposed themselves. Hey Chris, is that how you're playing this game? No, I got a baby. They <laughs> <laughs> don't have a baby. Do you guys think the most sympathetic people are the most vulnerable in this game? Yes, because they're of gonna course. fall for a sob story. Sob story? Yeah, sob story. If you needed the money for well, yourself. If you were for it, she'd still be on this cat. But she No, but she but fell she for almost her. fell for it. She fell for the one Abby gave, but the only thing that messed her up is oh, okay. I don't deserve she this. She fell so hard that she didn't even think she deserved it. So I was oh. listening to you guys. Well, I don't know how to explain it. You just have to have a heart of steel. I didn't vote for you, girl. I'm like, you guys, I want to remind you, the final round is when we get down to three people. Yeah. And all those three people have to decide on the same person. If you guys can't decide, nobody gets the money. He actually said something there that's really true. And it's probably a lesson that the girl learned through the making of this video. And it is that you do have to be hardened to people who are going to manipulate you like these people are doing. And you have to sort of have a radar for that. Because if you did cry at every moment that somebody did something like this to you, they would do it all the time. Uh, and they'd pull one over on you any chance that they could. And that's what they're doing. I will not be keeping that thousand dollars. Trust me. <laughs> you guys ready for the next round? Yeah. yeah. Starting yes. in three, two, one. You ready to vote? Yep. I'm ready yeah. too. All right, how are we gonna do it this time? Oh, you can vote now if you want. How do you guys feel about Stop. games of chance? No, do mean? I don't trust that. Like no, rock, paper, like scissors. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. God, rock, paper, scissors. I'm throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there. You want to flip a coin? Like, no. no. You should ask them how they feel about merit. <laughs> I bet they'd have the same reaction because none of these people are gonna win this money based on the actual merit of them being uh, deserved of a thousand dollars. I don't leave a chance. No way. But do we want somebody with a heart of steel to go home with a thousand dollars? Yeah. And if they have actual factual needs for it, then yes. Yeah, of course, it's not about your heart. Don't it's you have a heart of steel? Don't you need a thousand dollars for a plane ticket? You better get a heart of steel to so get your plane ticket. <laughs> Like, I had a really hard financial time a couple months ago, and I gave so much plasma that I passed out on the bed. Yeah, I have a scar, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> a minute ago, you didn't know how to get money to go on a plane. <laughs> if I have a plasma scar, doesn't that tell you I'm trying to do everything I possibly can? I mean, are you? Yes! How about we walk up to the whiteboard and just write the person that we think- Guys. My blood is boiling. My blood is, I can feel it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had such a visceral response to a video like this because I just know like, how can you just actively be this type of person and not have any self-awareness for the fact that you are like this? Everybody walk up to it and it's facing the camera and then we'll turn around and show the people who, who has the most names on the board. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. I'll hold the board. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. Surprise, surprise. Well, good luck to all of you. Thank you, that was stress. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. How will we decide? We don't know. How will we decide? I want to believe people when they're like, because I can't just be like, you're, you not, gotta facing. Go. No. you're not facing. You're not facing. No, bro, I'm just being real right now. What you tell me here is why I believe you. We have two black women, a white woman, and a black man. What a way to see the world, man. Just imagine that's how you function in the world. You know, when people have like an astigmatism like I do and their vision's blurry, imagine your, your vision is just like black, white, man, woman, Hispanic, and that's just how you see people. You do, do you guys like recognize how dehumanizing that actually is? You might as well see people as like random numbers and you know, pieces of code because that's what you're doing. Oh gosh. Kind of all, all on the same level right now. Right. Like, Income-wise, you don't need a thousand dollars. I need it because you're a white woman. I'm a black man. 
Well, we would have equal out though. But uh, but if you're making more than me, you just said. Well, first of all, I'm making more than you because I have a job. Exactly. So I need more than you do. You have a partner with an income, and she doesn't. That is, yeah. but my partner's income is not just couch. sitting on this couch. I'm sitting on this couch. So we're two different people. Discuss. Why you wait till you got eliminated to start playing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, sometimes I can't oh, talk louder than y'all. <laughs> you just gotta. Yeah, maybe she's in a position of, of safety to not be directly attacked by sitting on a couch already having been eliminated and feels a little bit more empowered to speak up about how you are like treating other people and viewing other people. I just need to know that if I hurt my knee and I'm out of commission, I can't be a bartender, I can't be a hairdresser, like I can't do that, and I have nothing. So You're like, a hairdresser? hairdressers make a lot of money, girl. No, but I'm not. I'm, not I can't for work for wage four jobs. Days. No, I have jobs. I'm not looking then, for a job. Then why don't you take it from three jobs to one? That's like saying, why don't you get a job? I mean, I'm in the process of getting a job. I would never work three jobs and be stressing myself out like that because that's I don't me have a personally. Choice. I got nothing, and I'm doing the best I can. And if I don't get a break, I genuinely don't know what's gonna happen to me. Psychologically, this is so interesting to watch because I think most of us know in watching this that none of these people truly need $1,000. It's a very strong word, but it's interesting how easily you can convince people that they do need something by just having it be an offer at the table. They are all able-bodied, they speak English, they're capable of going and providing for themselves, of getting a job, of working hard, but they've all convinced themselves just by being placed on a set and being given the offer that they truly deserve something that they do not need. You guys were talking about like having like guaranteed futures and careers and stuff and I was just saying that like having a kid is like, a, that's talk about a guaranteed thing in your future. Like that, that's a guaranteed future to me. 100%. You have the child, you have sex to have the child and now the child's here. So you have to pay for your child and be responsible for it. Arguably that could be said about everyone's situation. <laughs> I mean, it could wow. be. I didn't have to get hurt and yeah. not be able to work. I'd ask you to lay it off. No one does. Yeah. I thought he was going to say, like, I didn't ask to be black. That would have been the comeback, right? That would have been the leftist phrase for this one. I didn't ask to be born black. That's the thing, I think, is what we're all saying. Well, I think we're really listening. I think we're just kind of talking, so. I just want to warn you guys, you have about three minutes. I think you should come to a vote. So I just want to say to the next person to go, I don't, it's not it's personal. It's not personal. It's really not. Love that. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. That's me. Ooh, it's a tie. I think they should do a tiebreaker amongst themselves, like the sudden thing. death. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how about they decide? Sure. That is not fair. We gotta figure something out. We can take some input. I don't think that they should be able to vote, but I think that they should. Just put them in an arena and make them fight each other. There's only one spot open right now, so we're gonna have tryouts. Why not, right? It's a thousand dollars and we all need it, right? We all need it. Let's just fight to the death over this. Do you input? want to, okay, let's because do input. Because they're, they're do... objective. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's, well, I don't think that's gonna be fair because every single one of them before they got out voted for me. So what are they gonna say? Are you no? sure? Yeah. How do you, how do you possibly know that? Um, I saw you write my name down wrong. You voted because you wrote the thing wrong and I'm, you just, you just look like you hate me, about so me. maybe you just assumed that about me. Can we, can, we give, can you give us a second? Can we pause I'm for sorry, a can we really pause? I really no. don't need you to antagonize me. Why don't you just be quiet? I have been. Okay, then keep going back to that. She's in charge, everybody. <laughs> This dude has said like two sentences throughout this entire video. One, we should give the money to charity and maybe that he was joking about that or whatever. Two, that maybe the money should go to the single mother with, you know, an actual child that could use a thousand dollars. And then three, you assumed something about me, which is what they've been doing to him by virtue of him being a white male this entire video. <laughs> so the animosity is just insane. You voted for me and she voted for her. So why don't you guys talk why about- Why would you say that? You don't know who voted for who. I voted for Kat. All right, so raise your hand if you vote for Kat. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. All right, is that final? Guess so. Could have guessed that. I'm not saying everything too personally. Done. This was strategically done. <laughs> Y'all, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> Do some hair more. <laughs> so this is the final, final round. You have to unanimously decide who's the one person who leaves with $1,000. Or no one's going home with money. Okay, so. <laughs> Nobody's getting that Money. <laughs> no, one of us will get that money. Should we walk to the back of it? Let's go. Just gonna get it. The girl, I guess, which was the red flannel, she's still there. She's still there. Everybody on the sidelines, who do you think deserves it out of those three? 
Uh, None of them. Yeah, can I like yeah, no, just no. like recuse myself? <laughs> recuse. He's like, I want to go. I'm I did so not know weird. this was going to be a, a race war that I was going to get into. I thought this was going to be a fun video about like who wins a thousand dollars. And now I have this piece of footage that is going to forever live on the internet of these people attacking me. I've already said my story. That's just it. I have no money. My partner, granted, my husband does make money, but that is money to pay for our literal bills. I'm not downing your story. I'm just I, saying that I, my, I, yeah. my income that I do have, I feel like is equivalent to you having that man in your life. So like when, right is, now, when is the last time you paid your rent? No, I paid my rent this month. But I haven't paid rent this month. This is the thing, you can get a job because of my condition, I can't. That's the thing I feel like. They're just gonna split it. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure, no doubt. I don't trust this. I can't help but point out the imagery here of like, we've, we've cast out all the people who are not a part of our marginalized group to sit on the sidelines and to talk about this game and talk about how unfair it is. And then all of us who are in our marginalized group get to huddle together in a moment of privacy when we have very publicly, you know, ousted these people out of their positions on this couch. Even though you know that if the thousand dollars was laid on the floor and you said the three of you go at it, they would fight tooth and nail to get that thousand dollars and they would fight each other. There's really no community at the foundation of this relationship that they perceive to have built here. But nonetheless, their arms are around each other. You wouldn't see them putting their arms around these white people. This is not a pure competition at all. No, this is, uh, this is a massacre. I'm just gonna like weigh in, feel free to feel how you feel. I already decided that I was gonna vote for you. I want you to take the money. Yeah. And it's not because I hate you, because we're all black, I love yeah. all of us. I Somebody give me a raise. <laughs> Did you hear that? She just said we're all black. I just told you the imagery was enough to say that alone, but it's always good to have confirmation, right? It's always good to hear them expose themselves and say it out loud. They want to help me, like with the jobs thing, because I'm also looking for a dumb my organization. Hey guys, you have and 11 minutes. Sorry to interrupt. Thanks for the time check. I don't like the guy. I don't like him. And she's on some white ally bullshit. Right, because earlier when she was a part of the game, right, and she was within the inner fold of the minority group, right, she could make jokes about everybody else and their circumstances and about where they were in life. But now that she's been cast aside by the group of black people who are always gonna stick together in the first place because they're black. Oh, I don't like him. None of them deserve the money anymore. But you were on their team when they were, you know, batting a thousand up on top. I don't really have anything else to say. It's been a mental anguish on me. It's been rough, it's been hard, and I just don't know what's gonna happen after it. So what if that doesn't happen? and you just won $1,000. All I can say is I'll be homeless, so. Unless we can't leave this money on the table. So it's not gonna be homeless. Not it's not gonna be homeless. It's crazy how easily somebody will believe a lie about their own oppression <laughs> to get to a certain end. He's not gonna be homeless and you know it. And I wish five years later we would check in on this guy and ask him, do you have a home? Do you have shelter? Is there a roof over your head? I'd bet you $10,000. I'll go pay this guy $10,000 if he's homeless right now. I'm voting for myself. And I, I mean, like, yeah, but it has to be three of us. Are you still voting for Shakira? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. What were you guys talking about? Deliberating amongst ourselves. Did you guys make a final decision? Yeah. What did you guys decide? We decided on Shakira. Yeah, we picked Shakira because they had already decided prior and instead of just leaving the money on the table, might as well give us money that can, could use it. Hmm. I just hope you're not lying. I'm not. No, I'm really not. I'm not. <laughs> I, I already knew that I'm, I'm okay without this thousand dollars. It'd be nice to have, but I'm, it's not shaking my world up right now. And if she's in a worse predicament than us. Oh, just to listen to the words of somebody who is wholly unconvinced by what they're saying is just amazing to watch. This is a lesson in body language guy. He doesn't, he doesn't believe a word he just said, but watch as he chokes the words out of his own throat to somehow come out looking like he has some form of, I guess, integrity <laughs> towards other people. And I would rather that money go towards. Thank you guys. Yeah. He's literally just self-soothing as he's trying to choke out <laughs> that somebody other than him has won this money. Chris. This has been an awful experience. This has been nothing but sadness and arguing and conflict and hurt feelings and shittiness. I just don't think it's fair that the rest, like everybody had to be all up here and then when it came down to like the actual money decision, we weren't privy to any of the discussion and we couldn't hear anything. So that was just, I just wish I could hear. I was just curious what was going on. It's funny how that happens. 
At the beginning of the video, I mentioned the Stanford prison experiment, which just in essence was a certain group of people being given power that they were wholly, you know, undeserved. They, they didn't deserve the power whatsoever. And then a group of people being placed in the oppressed category and how quickly the people with power rose up to just abuse the people who are on the lower end of the scale was astonishing. So astonishing, in fact, that they had to stop the experiment because these people with perceived power became so abusive. It's exactly what's happened uh, within the racial and gender dynamics of this video that we've seen. The black people entered this situation knowing we have power and we can pack together because we are black and because we have this oppression narrative. And almost immediately they went after the people on the lower rungs of the ladder and abused them. And nobody was there to check them because there's nothing you can say. They have guarded themselves with the idea of blackness giving them extra power. So how, what are you gonna say to that? You say something and you're a racist. You say something and they tell you to shut up like they did to the guy who wanted to give the money to charity. Look at how quickly these things just devolve into madness. Let's watch the end. I would like to know what we could have said. I am happy with the decision because I am in a dire need for it. I just, I am very thankful for the decision that they made and you know, how everything played out. And now I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. She's in dire need for it as she stands in her new clean clothes, fresh makeup, hair's done, kicks on. She's in dire need. <laughs> and guys, that's the end of the video. The winner was Shakira. I guess that is the person that I guess. If it's gonna be the winner, it can't be the black male, right? It has to be the, the black female. And she comes out on top and she won $1,000. But the question is at what cost? <laughs> At what cost did you just win that $1,000? Probably at no cost, because I don't think she took stock of how she acted during this entire video or has really any self-awareness about how maybe the victimhood mentality has changed her into a bully. Somebody who, in my eyes, should never be perceived as a victim. But you guys wanted me to watch this video. Those are my thoughts. This one got to me, guys. And I know it shouldn't because it really doesn't mean anything. These are seven strangers. I don't know them. Somebody won $1,000. We all went about our lives and nobody's homeless. I hated it. <laughs> I hated this experience, but at least it showed the dynamics of, of the culture that we're in right now, right in front of our eyes. And we got to see this in sort of a cool social experimental setting. Let me know how you feel about this video in the comments down below. I'm very curious to see if you notice things I didn't notice. If I notice things that you didn't notice, drop that in the comments down below. And as always, if you disagree, I encourage healthy debate. So duke it out, but do so respectfully. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every single day and I will see you next time.